The drinks are flowing at one of the country's top restaurants. But a possible change to liquor laws has the owner worried. I think the way that it's being proposed uh, is, is detrimental to our, our business. If a new bill passes Parliament, there will be health warnings on all these bottles. I just think that uh, labeling on each bottle is, uh, you know, potentially uh, a huge amount of red tape. Patrick Brazo introduced the legislation. You know, I was drinking uh, way too much because I, I was hurting inside. I was trying to, uh, to kill the pain. He's a recovering alcoholic on a mission to warn Canadians about just how dangerous liquor can be. I mean, there's 80% of Canadians who, who drink alcohol, and that's okay. But only 25% are aware that the consumption of just a little bit of alcohol can cause cancers. Dozens of countries around the world already demand warnings on beer, wine and spirits. Yukon tried it in 2017. Sales dropped by more than 6% before the project was scrapped. Brazo says that's why there's such strong opposition from the industry. They're doing everything that they can, spending tons and tons of money to ensure that Canadians are left in the dark. There's been a pandemic-fueled boom in alcohol-related death. It's up 18 percent in three years. According to federal research, liquor consumption caused some 17,000 deaths last year. This stands in stark contrast to what we have for tobacco and cannabis. This researcher says it's not clear why alcohol gets a pass on labeling. This can of corn has more data than a bottle of hard liquor. To my knowledge, uh, niblet corn did not kill 17,000 Canadians last year. The federal government says it's still reviewing the legislation. Brazo's not hopeful it'll pass given pressure from some lobby groups. But he's got 26 years left in this place. He says he won't drop the fight until he's forced into retirement. JP Tasker, CBC News, Ottawa.